And here we are again with Zagor. The drawing I did uh, for Svetozar Angel, my new Facebook friend. This is his favorite character and uh, he asked me to do like several of my colleagues who contributed drawings for him I am contributing this one so you have witnessed a uh, rough sketch uh, rough cleanup and uh, final tightening now this is to be inked for inking I'm not going to use uh, black waterproof ink nor nibs nor brush neither nibs nor brush because quite frankly I'm a little bit rusty with uh, those inking tools so I'll be using the, these uh, markers I'm not going to say which ones they are all uh, available in art shops cheap ordinary ones I can only say that uh, in essence the brand is not uh, important what is important is that ink doesn't fade away at least not too quickly and that it is waterproof so before I begin inking I need to get rid of these strong lines for which I'm going to use my trusty uh, putty rubber or kneaded eraser which I'm going to roll over the drawing like this to faint these pencil lines because you know sometimes when uh, the pencil lead is too strong it can create uh, problems you see I'm not sure whether other artists do the same I know that uh, this rubber is used very frequently um, during the penciling pro process I use it too but for this instance I'm going to heavily rely on it for uh, making this uh, drawing uh, fainter or more pale you see so it is one of the little things I always do when I uh, when I proceed with inking mind you when I do um, you see you see how black the rubber is it just absorbs it absorbs all the graphite and uh, doesn't leave no crumbs oh by the way I have seen some artists actually applying this kind of movement you know like with ordinary rubber but for some reason I don't find it efficient yes there is graphite it's all right but I prefer this kind of tapping and uh, I find this kneaded eraser more efficient like this and the purpose of this is not just to make inking easier it is also very important to avoid the dominance of graphite you see and to erase less later because one way or, an or another you need to erase the remaining pencil lines or wait a minute now I remember Svetozar asked me not to erase the initial sketch so hey less work for me to do I hope this is going to be quite enough you 
you see, when I do digital drawings, I have to tell you, I also use similar principle. Of course, I don't ink digitally on the same layer where the digital sketch is. I, I work on a new layer. It is like putting a tracing paper on top of this and inking on tracing paper, that way saving uh, the initial sketch. But no matter which program I'm using for digital art, I like to make this preliminary sketch more pale. So I just uh, use, you know, whether it is Photoshop or, or, or Paint Tool Sci or Sketchbook Pro, I always make the initial sketch fainter by moving transparency down, you see? Usually from 100% I go to about 50%, sometimes 40%. So it is just enough of support for inks to be applied without any intention to excuse myself in advance i have to say that i didn't ink on paper for ages literally i can't remember when was the last time i took a brush a nib or even um a marker. Now I would recommend using O1. It is very thin. Then O4. O4 is uh, quite okay because I've seen uh, artists who regularly use marker. They um, insist on uh, O1, O3, O5 and O8. And since I couldn't get 08 or even 07, I'm using 06. And there are some spares here just in case. So, without any further ado, let's begin. I don't have any procedure like, you know, beginning from shoulder as uh, a must. I beginning, I'm always beginning where I feel at the moment would be the best. My use of marker is quite similar to using a pencil, you know. So this almost feels like doing extra tightening only instead of pencil. I'm using uh, this marker. I've heard in Britain they use the expression pen stick. This is all four. And I just think I might switch to O3. Somehow it feels too thick, or maybe it is just my lack of practice, you know? Where is O3? I didn't get O3 here. Give us a second. There is O3. Let's try now. You know, I'm not a fast artist, never been. I was actually always very, very slow. I remember even at school, it was very frustrating, not just concerning drawing, mind. Um, 
it was also writing. I remember when I was a kid, it just took forever to follow dictation. You know. As you can see, I'm not well avoiding the face. I just feel that as some sort of a warm up. I'm going to do first these other elements. It is almost like with sports and musicianship, you know, it is quite wise to warm up before you begin. And I, guess what, didn't do it. I had some things to do at home sort out some bathroom problems, leaking uh, boiler and uh, whatnots. So, to tell you frankly, I feel quite uneasy with this. There is no routine like when I was regularly drawing on paper, knowing routinely what to do, how to do it. In this case, well, it is not exactly teeth pulling, but it feels, you know, shaky hand, And uh, I'm not quite happy with uh, the line quality. But hey, we can't choose now. And this thing needs to be done. When you see me doing this stuff, um, for instance, this thing with uh, repeating several strokes and stuff like that, it is just the feel like a musician who, who does things by following uh, instinct. That's why art differs from science. Apologies, I have a phone call. Just a second. Hey, I'm drawing and I'm making a video, so I can't talk now, all right? Speak to you soon, mate. Thanks for calling. Ah, uh, it would be wise, I presume, to put my uh, phone on uh, silent or even better flight mode. Yeah. So we won't be interrupted. Where were we? Ah, here. Let me just finish this here. And now back to the shoulder. This is also a new thing for me, you know, drawing and talking. I'm not saying that I was always quiet, mind you, but uh, this time I just assumed it would be quite awkward if I kept silent, you know, getting into concentration and this and that, you know. I just try to be efficient and at the same time to avoid deconcentrating myself.
I really, 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 really do hope this is going to work out fine. Look decently. There. Number six. The bigger, the better for these heavier outlines, you know. You see, the line has uh, this special quality. Let me just make this interruption here, and I'm going to use this piece of paper. This is lazy line, you know, even dead. But this kind of line, like this, is uh, more dynamic with character. It's too hairy, my lack of practice, but you get the idea. What else can I show you? I suppose, let me check here, where is my brush pen? This is a very nice, nifty tool. It is like a deep brush, only it has uh, this uh, cartridge with ink. So when you ink with uh, that brush, you get this line. Dynamics quality, character, what not, you see? To the eventual question, hey, why don't you do, you know, inking with that brush? Oh, I would gladly do, trust me. But, to tell you honestly, I didn't draw in ink for ages, so I just don't dare to do it now. So this is a demonstration of line. It's not lazy. There is one thing which is very important to remember. Ah, what the hell. Let's do it with the brush. It's not my wisdom. I just heard it. That it's important to have bottom lines, you know, in the lower part, heavier, like this. Quite frankly, I never understood how can painters work on an easel where their art, the canvas they are working on, is uh, fixed permanently. I need to rotate my uh, drawing all the time. I just don't know how to do it. Uh, fixed like this, like using the tape to, or pins, push pins to, 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 to fix the drawing. I constantly need to move it around, you know.
let me just try to change direction of light because I'm checking the computer monitor the picture doesn't appear to be quite bright you know but still this uh, shine from paper is almost blinding me what can we do here and my god it's 22 minutes already wow it feels pardon me for saying this like I have started a minute or two ago so now you have an idea how I approach inking if I continue to uh, record this, I think it could take forever, this video, I mean. So I think I'm going to wrap it up for now and continue some other time. I mean, I need to go on with the drawings, you know, but still making a video of everything it is going to be quite a boring affair so I reckon I might finish the upper part of this boot and bid you adieu and speak to you later because as I said at the beginning I'm really slow and I forgot to mention also this is not live this is recorded in advance <coughs> pardon me because I have noticed my Facebook is dodgy on the phone it just bugs stops at the most inappropriate moment or interrupts the video broadcast the live broadcast and makes me right fool and I hate it so I'm taping this in advance and I'm going to share it with you soon ish By the way, I didn't lose the sense of proportion. Why is this shin shorter? It is supposed to be in foreshortening, you know? I don't know if I managed to, to, to convey that kind of uh, impression. For better or worse, that's it. Seriously, I'm not trying to excuse myself. I continuously, constantly check the computer screen, I mean the monitor, and uh, it doesn't, the image doesn't look so bright, but trust me, it is blinding here. I'm not saying that I am guessing the line work here, but almost like I am because 
the light reflection is absolutely annoying and disgusting. So let's see what we have achieved in 26 minutes 15 seconds. We have achieved this. So now you see the, the inking process, at least how I do it, and you have witnessed how slow I am. Well, for now, that's it. Thank you for your attention and kindest regards to everyone. Happy holidays to the ones celebrating this. It's holiday season, Merry Christmas, and uh, speak to you soon. For now, Bye-bye. Take care. Ciao.